Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have our buyer's guide for the 2016 LEGO DC Batman sets and this guide will hopefully help you decide which Batman sets you want to buy for yourself or others and it might help you make a decision if you're torn between two sets. Now we've left out the classic Batcave set because of its price and it's a one-off set so it wouldn't compare well to the other sets and we also left out the LEGO Juniors Batman and Superman vs Lex Luthor because Junior sets builds are very different. But the sets we will be analysing are Scarecrow's Harvest of Fear 76054, Heroes of Justice Sky High Battle 76046, Killer Croc Sewer Smash 76055, Kryptonite Interception 76045, Rescue from Ra's al Ghul 76056, Gotham City Cycle Chase 76053 and Clash of the Heroes 76044. And we've reviewed every single one of these sets so we know all about their builds and play features and how the minifigures look close up. So we should be able to tell you which ones are worth getting and which aren't. And first up is the smallest set, Clash of the Heroes, which is priced at £11.99p, $12.99 and €14.99 and it consists of 91 pieces. And we think it's a great set to get for the movie because you get the two main heroes for an awesome price and we have seen it for under £10 on Amazon UK quite often. And Batman comes in his exclusive armour and we like the rooftop build with Bat Signal and it makes a change from a small vehicle. And we also like the addition of a super jumper for Superman because they're not in every set but they did manage to cram it in here and in our review we had to give it 5 bricks out of 5 and it's well worth that score. Following on we have the second movie set Kryptonite Interception which is priced at £29.99p, $29.99 and €34.99 and, and it consists of 306 pieces. And this set for us isn't that great and compared to Clash of the Heroes its minifigures let it down. Because the two LexCore henchmen are a bit boring and only one has a weapon and you get grey suited Batman and we feel he should have had his armoured suit. But we do like the awesome design Batmobile and it's very accurate to the movie version and the forklift's not bad either with its kryptonite containers. And due to our disappointment in the set we gave it a brick rating of 3 out of 5 bricks and in our opinion it might be worth waiting for it to go on sale to get the Batmobile. And the last movie set is Heroes of Justice Sky High Battle which is priced at £54.99p, $59.99 and €69.99 and, 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 and it consists of 517 pieces. And for us this set is the complete movie set, maybe minus the armoured Batman because you get all the main characters Lex Luthor, Lois Lane, Superman, Batman and Wonder Woman and the exclusive Wonder Woman is very nice with printed shield, detailed outfit and really nice hairpiece. And for the builds the LexCore helicopter is a bit too Lego City for us with its skis but the Batwing design wise is accurate and with the folding out wing feature and multi stud shooters it's great for play and display. And the good news is we've seen it on Amazon UK for £39.99p for some time now so if you want it you could get it for a fantastic price too and because we love it we gave it a brick rating of 4.5 out of 5 bricks. Next up in the guide we have the DC comic sets and the smallest one released this year was the Gotham City Cycle Chase which is priced at £19.99p, $19.99 and €24.99 and, 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 and it consists of 224 pieces. And the two bikes in our opinion aren't the best builds but they are fun to play with and to include three superheroes in this £20 set makes it a real bargain. And Batman's the usual grey suit version and Harley Quinn has a new red and blue outfit with the same coloured hairpiece and she's accompanied by the exclusive Deadshot who's new to Lego and he really makes the set a must have and we rated it 5 out of 5 bricks due to its excellent price and minifigures. Moving on we have one of the biggest sets Scarecrow's Harvest of Fear which is priced at £59.99p, $59.99 and, .99 and, .99 and €69.99 and, .99 and it consists of 563 pieces. And this set makes a great play set with the free vehicles so you have a cool little tractor for the farmer and it's nice how they added a civilian for Batman to save. And Scarecrow's Combine has a good dark tan and neon green colour scheme with rotating blade play feature and prison tank and we loved using these. And the Batcopter might look a bit too blue or have a junior style to it but we can assure you it's flick out stud shooters and strong construction make it fun to play with. 
And if you want a Batman set with great minifigures, look no further because you get the awesome, exclusive Gas Mask Batman, Blue Beetle and Killer Moth, and Scarecrow's new, and the Farmer's not bad either for a civilian. And these new superheroes are highly detailed, which means they would make great additions to a DC superhero collection. And because we love minifigures so much, we gave the set a brick rating of 4.5 out of 5 bricks. And now we have the biggest set of the year if we don't include the Batcave, and it's Killer Croc Sewer Smash, which is priced at £69.99p, $79.99, and €79.99, and it consists of 759 pieces. And when we first got this set, the box graphic looked good, but for us, the set didn't really deliver on the builds when we reviewed it. Because Croc's chomping vehicle has a nice crocodile colour scheme and opening mouth play feature as you roll along, but oddly, it's ruined by the crude Technic Tower they clipped on for Captain Boomerang and it looks so out of place. And the Bat Tank design-wise, or as a display piece, looks pretty epic, but in play it's too big to turn and move, and the tracks get stuck a lot, and it ruins the fun in the set. However, you do get some nice exclusive minifigures like the popular Red Hood with his bike, there's also Captain Boomerang and Katana, and Big Fig Croc's not bad either, but it's a shame you only get a regular grey suit Batman, and for the price of the set, a new suit would have been cool to see. And personally, we feel you should wait for this set to drop in price, or buy the minifigures separately, as it's a bit overpriced for what you get, and we gave it a brick rating of 3.5 out of 5 bricks. And last up is Rescue from Raz Al Ghul, which is priced at £34.99p, $39.99, and €34.99, and it consists of 253 pieces. And this set is a Toys R Us and Lego Shop exclusive, so it is a little harder to find, but if you can find it, it's pretty special, because at last you get Raz Al Ghul, and he doesn't disappoint with his outstanding green robes, cape, and grey highlight black hair piece. And he comes with Talia too, who's new to get as well, and she looks good, and the Desert Batman and the Hooded Robin are nice and new to get as well, and we like their inclusion. And this makes all the set minifigures new and exclusive. And because of the set's great minifigure lineup, the builds do lack, as the buggy is a simple design, but it is fun to use and crash into the temple, and the temple is for play more than display, and in our opinion, we like the Lazarus Pit best, with all its neon green and catapult. And because we thought the set's worth getting for all the exclusive minifigures, we gave it a brick rating of 4.5 out of 5 bricks. And that's our buyer's guide on the 2016 LEGO DC Batman sets, and if you made it this far, we've made a brick rating table for all the sets. So riding high at the top is Clash of the Heroes with 5 out of 5, and Gotham City Cycle Chase with the same score. And then at joint, third place is Rescue from Raz Al Ghul with 4.5 out of 5, along with Scarecrow's Harvest of Fear and Heroes of Justice Sky High Battle. And at number 4 is Killer Croc's Sewer Smash with 3.5 out of 5, and at number 5, right at the bottom, is Kryptonite Interception with 3 out of 5. And after looking at the table, if we were to recommend some sets, we'd pick Scarecrow's Harvest of Fear and Clash of the Heroes. And we picked Harvest of Fear because we love minifigures and the gas mask Batman was just so nice in black and lime green, and Blue Beetle and Killer Moth are also great to get. And we picked Clash of the Heroes because it's so reasonable for Superman and the exclusive Armored Batman, and it's a little odd he didn't come in a bigger set, and if you don't want to break the bank and want a set from the movie, this is perfect. And that's our two recommendations and our buyer's guide for the 2016 LEGO DC Batman sets. Please leave a comment below on which sets you liked or disliked and ones you want or have. And we hope this guide will help you with your purchases in the future, and we might do more of these buyer's guides for other themes soon. And if you have any themes in mind you'd like us to make a guide for, please leave a comment below and we will see if we can do it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the Brick Bros UK channel for all things LEGO and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.